Paul Stubbs. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. Well, thank you for your time. This evening I come to speak with the council on the police salary. Um, why so is uh, um, I went to the, um, the city clerk's office and she gave me some figures. And get it here for you. By the figures I have here that I went to the clerk's office, Ms. Roxanne got uncertified police officer makes $646.16, and a certified officer starting salary is $789.85 plus a $500. Sir? That's a month or is that two periods? Um, pay period. Pay period. You want to look at it? Pay period. You wrote it. Uh, pay pay she period. explained it to me. I don't know what, what he's thinking of. That's two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. That's yeah. all Okay. Yeah. And then the. Uh, Certified fireman starting salary is $848. Certified fireman started $961.54. And, and my question is tonight, what, 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 what is the pay difference between a fireman and a city policeman? Why, why is their starting salary is not the same? Uh, if you're referring that to me, I... No, 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 sir, man. To the council. Well, you're standing up there and got a bunch of figures. We don't have any figures here laid out for them. Well, y'all made the ordinance. No, we not. I got it from the um, clerk's office. Now, the ordinance has been out on the book for quite a while. Well, my and question... we did. We need, we need to have those figures laid in front of us, and we're looking at it. Well, you've you got to give all of us a copy of it, and we can look at it. Pass it to one another. That, that, all that's just some, a note you've got on a piece of paper. That don't show what the... That's not my right. It's sir. not showing what the policemen are making them on. That, that's not, not my right. Here. But it's there. Okay. Uh, my question is, why are we not justifying ourselves? Uh, we say that we appreciate our police officers. They're doing a great job for the city. Why are we not standing behind them? I'm saying again, you get all these salaries of all the firemen and all the police... And, and get him bring the force, and we'll we'll look at him and bank with. Okay. Um, I made a public record, um, and I passed it in to Miss Roxy. When Mr. Dumas was the acting mayor, she turned it over to Mr. Dumas, and Mr. Dumas postman turned it over to Mr. Tag. Now, well, that's how the request went, and I get and I have a copy of that that I have brought it once before. Paul, this thing probably needs to be addressed at the time we do the budget. What? And But I'm, I'm saying that's good you brought it but, up. But, and and that's my question, Mr. Tab. Did or did I not turn in a public request? I'm, I'm assuming you did, and I think Ms. Roxy supplied you But the catch is the city refused to give me public records, right or wrong, because I haven't received them yet. I, I thought you just said Ms. Roxy gave No, me. that is not the public request that I asked for. I asked for a public request of what each city official City employees' salaries are. Did or did I not, Mr. Dumas? Yes, sir, you did. Now, Why the reason did y'all fail to, uh, Mr. John? Because at the time, the the incoming mayor who was coming in, there was going to be an increase in, in, and also a raise that was going to be given. So to give you that information, it would have been null and void. It wouldn't have been what you was really asking for. But the question and is, wait. Well, and in addition to that, that information would not have sufficed for what you wanted. So after the raise that was going to take place on July 1, then that information could have very easily been obtained at that particular time. Nope. Now, I if you understand. wanted, but your letter did not say prior to. It only asked for the uh, for well, that information of those. refused to give. No, sir, I didn't refuse to give them. I never received them. But that wasn't a refusal. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you so much. But uh, on to the next question. There was a tax passed by the citizens of Winsboro, and this tax generates $680,000 a year. And this tax, at the time it was first done, it both been for firefighters and police officers. But later on, this tax has transformed for the general funds. That now, tax was not passed for police officers and fire protection. That tax was passed to go to the general fund. That's how the tax was listed. No, no. You oh, went yeah. back. I had a copy of the tax. You went back and changed. But the catch is now, how much money of that was dedicated to the police department allocating? Huh? No, so you, have, you have that all wrong, uh, Mr. Stubbs. Uh, out of $680,000, how 
How much of that money was allocated for the police raises? Whatever those raises came out to be, that was the allocation. That was, that was uh, allocated for those raises. First of all, the tax itself, we proposed it doing a meeting, not necessarily a tax, but we did, Change a, the we, we did a proposal. And in the process of doing that, we also came back and we did a survey. Yeah. And as, as we surveyed... In other words, uh, you fool the people to vote for it, then come back and do what you want with the money. I was publicized. You won't let me finish. So I, can't, let you I, can't, I can't explain what happened. But I can tell you that it was not, when the tax was set up, it was not set up for fire and police only. It was set up as a general fund tax. That's what it was passed for, and that's what we're using it for. Now, everybody, that includes the police department, the fire department, and other city officials, or not officials, but employees, are all benefiting from the use of those funds. If, 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 if that was so, Mr. Mr. Dumas, there have been over 16 officers. Four of them have been fired. Some have quit and become jailers. Even one work at a gas station. Because I believe, I guess, they must make more, gas, more money pumping gas than they do serving our people. Did you also, uh, uh, also research the fact that not only did the fire, I mean the uh, police department, Receive a raise a year and a half ago, but they also received a separate raise individually and a raise of 6% along with the rest of the uh, city employees for uh, uh, that was given in this past Wait, budget. I, did you I did you research that? Did you this, what did you, did you, you find that? Excuse me. No, uh, now that you, want my, you want me to answer your questions and I will, but I want you Wait, to answer. You talking? Let me talk. Anywhere it go, if you would have gave them a six percent rate, they is already on the low pay scale of the fire department. But I had no right control. or wrong. We had no control of that. We have to look at that as far as the fire department, you're not comparing apples to apples. When you look at the fire department and you look at the uh, the uh, uh, police department, their certification consists of one certification. The fire department certification is a constant certification going from a firefighter one. And, and, and firefighter too, and constantly going and training. Well, now, but now, the, the, but now the raises have not been taken into consideration under under those certifications. And if they were, then you probably would have a leg to stand on. But you're not comparing apples to apples. And until you start doing that, you won't have a, You can't get a, a, a direct. Let me ask you another question. These fellas give up their life every time they leave their home to come and and patrol our city. If you could recall, Justin Rayville, a man left his house and went on a call, what happened to him? He died. These fellas risk their life every day for us. And, and you telling me, I, if, if they did vote on the raise, I believe right now, your mind made up, you'll go with Craig Gill and Rich Mahoney like you always do. God bless you. Before we get to the county, we came, uh, I came before the council concerning the... Uh, Charlie, you need to... <laughs> I can, uh, we can eat it, Charles. Come on. Okay. All right, Charles. I remember coming before the camp talking about what uh, Reverend Stubbs was talking about. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the uh, tax, that were passed with the half a cent tax, and there was a confusion about police and fire protection, what the tax was for and everything, and I came before the council and talked about that. At the same time, I talked to a, a, a former mayor, Hammond, God bless his soul, and the money was going into general funds, but he expressed to me that the council persons will be there in time of need for raises for the whole town police and for, for the whole town. But the, the question has been in past time that the city policemen and the firefighters here are not being paid properly. Mostly the policemen in compliance with the deputy sheriff sheriff out there and we talked about that. And the thing of it was that you all said that it was up to the chief to make a recommendation and also for promotion, but the chief makes recommendation for a promotion, and the council, or the mayor can make a the mayor make a recommendation, and the council can introduce proposal 
for these city policemen to get the raise in compliance with the sheriff's department. Like Brother Stubbs said, they are fighting crime. It's no different. They get post-certified at the same place, and it, it's badly needed. The information that you requested at the time that you hold it, Mike, at the time that you uh, that you came that you came before us was in reference to two individuals and those individuals receiving a, a promotion or a merit promotion. That information and that type of promotion we was not able to give. I told you that standing right in the back of the fire department. I mean, in the back of the uh, police department. That was a decision that still is you a decision. You told me several things, though. Nope. I'm going to listen to you. Yeah. I mean, you. You want me to keep the mic? I'm going to keep the mic. Go ahead and finish talking. You told me several things. I told you several things at that time, yes, because we talked about several things. But I'm talking about the police department now. And what you was asking about, you named specific individuals. You were not, you was, at that time, was not interested in the department. You were interested in two people and two people only. That would, no, I'm not wrong. You're if right. I am wrong, then I think the chief is here to, to attest to what I'm saying. Now, the it's, chief, it's, if the council person's him will attest, I came before this council and I asked that. that the city policemen, the city policemen, get paid and compliance with the sheriff. I, I spoke to all of you all in the council that, about that. Yeah, but you mentioned two people to me back then. I That's mentioned it. two people, Chris Shaw, who had been a sergeant and ten years for promotion. That's really not said. You all told me that it was up to the chief to make recommendation for promotion, but the council person and the mayor can make recommendation. The council can make a, 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 a proposal, introduce proposal to raise those people, city police, Monsara, in compliance with the sheriff. You don't have to wait on the, the uh, chief to do that. Now, in you wait process, on him for promotion. And in the process, yes, that was promotion because you were talking about individuals, individuals at that time, Charles. When you talk to me, you talked about individuals. That's why I referred it to the chief. Let's talk now, about what we're talking about now. Let's talk about what we're talking about Well, give me an opportunity. Let me come back. I'm explaining. Let me. That's right. Hold on. Just wait then. Be quiet. I'll tell well, you, you exactly. I'm going to go. You're going to what you're doing well, now. Don't just tell me to hold on. Well, when excuse I'm me. I'm sorry. All right. I'm sorry. Let me say something. Okay. Let me say something now. Hold on, Mayor. Now you're going to get into this. No, you hold on. No, you hold on. Because here's what I'm saying. Yes. No, you hold on. Because in the process of saying, I'm not able to say to explain John, what's happening. John, yeah. Mayor, Mayor, oh, in the the mayor's in charge. The mayor's in charge. You got it. Let, 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 let's, let's, uh, discussion yeah. is kind of getting out of hand. Right. <laughs> let, us, let, let, let us move this discussion to another time uh, and uh, at a public hearing, a public meeting. And everyone would have an opportunity to voice his say so. That's fine. Uh, that, that would, that was, uh, we, we really have business to take care of tonight. It may not look like it. I understand. But we do. Yeah. Let, let, let's move to the next item.